In this quick video, we want to see how we can configure authentication if we're using named EIGRP. We're still going to be able to use that same keychain that we've been using up till now, but we're going to do the configuration of the authentication by going into the address family interface configuration mode for serial 1 slash 0 on each of these routers, R1 and R2. Let's begin on R1. On R1, let's go into the EIGRP virtual instance of auth underscore demo. And now let's go into address family configuration for autonomous system 2. We'll say address hyphen family IPv4 unicast and we're using autonomous system number 2. Now let's go into the address family interface configuration for serial 1 slash 0. We say AF hyphen interface and give the interface identifier its serial 1 slash 0. And now we can give our authentication commands. First, let's set the authentication mode. We'll say authentication mode. And if we use context sensitive help, we're going to see that in addition to MD5, which was our only option in our prior two videos, we now have an option for SHA, secure hash algorithm, which is considered to be a bit more secure. So we do have that option for named EIGRP authentication, but we did not for the traditional EIGRP configuration. So please be aware that that is an option, but we're going to set up MD5 as we've been doing. I'll say the authentication mode is MD5. And now we can reference that keychain that we have. And you notice the message that appeared on the screen. I just lost my neighborship with R2 because I'm now saying that I want to do authentication. And I'll say my authentication keychain is R1 keychain. Now let's go give a similar configuration on router R2. On router R2, let's go into router EIGRP virtual instance off underscore demo. And we'll go into address family IPv4 unicast, autonomous system number two, and address family interface serial one slash zero. And again, we're going to give those two authentication commands. We'll say authentication mode is MD5, and the authentication keychain is R2 keychain. And in just a moment, our neighborship should come back up. Let's give it a couple of seconds and see if it reestablishes. There it is. It says we have a new adjacency and the verification commands we could use if we're trying to do some troubleshooting. We could do a show key chain to check out the configuration of our key chain. We do have one that's valid and we might want to go between our routers and do a show key chain here as well just to make sure that the keys are matching up. If we're doing troubleshooting, that's one thing we could do first. We could also do a show IP EIGRP interfaces command just to make sure that the interfaces we think are participating in EIGRP really are. And we can see if we have any neighbors with a show IP EIGRP neighbors command. And we do have a neighbor. So what we've done in this short video is we saw how to configure MD5 authentication and we saw that SHA was also an option. But we did MD5 authentication by going into address family interface configuration mode for the interface on which we wanted to turn on authentication. We specified the mode and we specified the keychain we wanted to use.